Hi everyone, my name is Amy Newland. I'm here today to teach you some chair yoga on behalf of the Anderson Parks Department. Yoga means union. So we're working here on coming to the present moment and integrating that body, mind, spirit practice. Yoga is for anybody. Uh, when I started my yoga practice years ago, I was over 300 pounds. So just know that you can modify any pose today. You can come to a pose that brings you comfort. Um, you know, just follow at your level. Maybe you'd like to have some water for some hydration. So we're just going to go ahead and take a moment to kind of come into this present moment. So find a chair that's sturdy something that can really ground down into the ground that you can sit up nice and tall with your posture and we're just going to kind of feel our feet for a moment feel your feet kind of connecting to the ground feeling the support of the ground beneath you and then let's just take a moment to take some big deep breaths maybe even counting your breath Inhaling five all the way up your body. And then just slowly bringing that exhale back down, all the way down to your feet. Some nice big cleansing breaths in through your nose and out through your nose. And as we do this, let's kind of come into the pose. So as you root your feet, think about kind of bringing that energy up, kind of taking that abdomen, taking that belly button to your spine. And we're gonna take a moment to just kind of come into our shoulders. So bring those shoulders up to your ears. So when we're anxious, we kind of do this in life, right? We're, we're gonna be mindful here for a moment and bring those shoulders back and down. Just kind of feel that space. Yoga helps us have some body awareness. Let's do that again. Bring those ears, shoulders up to the ears, roll them back and down. And then just kind of lengthen through your spine, just finding that nice long posture all the way up to the crown of your head. Just take a few more deep breaths here. And just take a moment to notice your body. What are you feeling in your body this morning? Maybe there's some places that you have tension. Maybe there's some places that you feel space. Coming into your energy, just noticing your energy. Coming to your mind. Our mind is just our field of attention. So where's your attention right now? Maybe you can gently, lovingly bring it back to your breath. Bring it back to this moment. And then let's come to our spirits. Maybe bringing your hands to heart center, placing your hands on your heart, whatever way feels reverent to you. We're gonna set an intention for our yoga practice. Maybe it's some healing for yourself. Maybe it's some love light guided towards someone else today. And maybe it's both. Just take a moment to set an intention for your yoga practice. And then just connecting with a bigger energy for a moment. And then we're gonna open our eyes and we're gonna start that movement with breath. So we're gonna inhale and reach up, lengthen towards the sky. Exhale, bringing those hands back into heart center, connecting Breath and movement, inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, bringing it back down. Let's find that one more time. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, bringing it back down. And then we're just gonna take a moment to kind of warm up our spine. So we're gonna take our hands on our legs and we're just gonna rotate. One big rotation, just kind of warming up that spine. And we're going to find it in the other direction. And then we're 
we're gonna come to a seated cat cow. So our hands are on our lap. Our chin comes up just a smidge. Those shoulders are down our back. So that is cow. Then we're gonna tuck our chin and we're gonna round our back out, just like a mad cat, just pressing through our back and our shoulder blades. And this is cat. So we're gonna flow through those two movements with our breath, inhaling cow, exhaling cat. Let's find four more of those. Two more. Last one. And we're going to kind of come to a pause button here. So cross your arms and then maybe scoot back through your seat and just kind of allow the center of your head just to kind of rest here. We're going to do a little breath practice here. So just inhaling in through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, just kind of sighing it out, letting that tension go. So this kind of helps me remember about a mindfulness practice called stop. And it simply means to just, when we're having problems, like accessing peace in our lives, just to stop, take a deep breath, observe, pause, and then proceed with mindful intent. So then kind of when you're ready, just kind of come and back up to that nice long spine. Then we're gonna inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down through center. And we're gonna find just a little baby twist. So really staying rooted through our feet and through our sits bones, those seated, seated bones. And we're just gonna turn it one direction. And then we're going to gently come back center and let's find that same twist the other direction. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, bringing those hands through and then slowly finding a twist on the other side. Coming back center, let's kind of warm up our legs a little bit. So we're gonna grab underneath one of those legs and just kind of rotate, still sitting up nice, straight and tall. And then let's rotate other direction. Let's find that same thing with our ankle. So just kind of isolating it with our ankle. And then other direction. Then we're gonna slowly sit that leg down, bring that other leg up, rotate. Other direction. Isolating, taking that ankle, one direction. And then the other. Then we're gonna place those feet ground them down, root them out. And then we're gonna open up through our shoulders a little bit. So we are gonna keep our left hand on our lap and our right hand's gonna reach up to the sky. And then we're gonna thread. We're gonna take that breath with movement. We're gonna inhale, reach up and exhale, finding our middle. So where your back is okay, where you feel something but not too much, okay? And we're just going to flow through with our breath, inhaling, reaching up to the sky, exhaling, threading it through. Let's find three more. Last one. On this one, let's hold it. Let's just hold it for a second. Finding where your neck is okay. Maybe you'd like your gaze to the ground. Maybe you'd like it to the wall. Inhaling, reaching back up. Exhaling, placing that hand on our lap. And let's thread through other direction. 
Inhaling, reaching up to the sky. Exhaling, threading it through. Finding four more. Holding this one. Coming back up, placing those hands down on our lap. Let's just take a right ear, right shoulder. Coming back through center, taking that opposite ear, opposite shoulder. Coming back center, let's gaze to the right. So we're just working our way up the body. Stretching everything out before we get to a little more active phase. Coming back center and then finding other direction. Great work. So we're gonna stand up now. So let's stand up and if the standing is too much, you can always come into your seat and do the same arm movements and leg movements seated in your chair. So we're just gonna come behind the chair and we're just gonna kind of rock it out side to side, just kind of warming up those legs. And for balance, you can always keep both hands on that chair. Let's hold it right just for a second, kind of lift up through that tailbone. Same principles here, rooting down through our feet, pulling that navel to spine, and lengthening out through our spine, holding it other direction. Great work. We're gonna turn to the right. All 10 toes are gonna be pointing forward. This is called a crescent lunge. So you kind of want to rock your body back, pull in through that core and straighten out through that spine. So we're going to practice some balance here. So we can, let's start with keeping our hand on the chair and then taking that other one up. And find where your knee's okay. Maybe it's up high. Just finding that middle path. So if you'd like to practice with your balance, just take that other arm up. And you still got that chair for support. So if you feel wobbly, you can hold down on that chair. Just breathing. And we're gonna open up through our chest. So we can simply just take our hands to our back pocket. We could take a hold of either elbow behind us we could even clasp our fingers and pull down and lift up for a little chest expansion. Then we're going to come up. We're going to come back to the center. We're going to have that left hand down, right hand up. Just gazing. Remember to be mindful of your neck. So just have that soft gaze wherever your neck says it's all right. Then we're gonna switch. Take that hand down, other hand up. Just breathing. Bringing both hands down, we're gonna transition to the side. In yoga, we always balance it out, right? Do the same on both sides. So we're finding that crescent lunge in this direction. So kind of rocking our Body back, so our belly's off our leg, our front leg. Pulling that navel into the spine. Holding on to that chair for support. You can take one arm up. And then if we want to play with our balance, taking both arms up. Just breathing into the pose. Breathing into any of those tight spaces. Just seeing you can soften any of those tight spaces. Bringing those hands or hand 
behind our back, maybe grasping those elbows or pulling down, lifting up. Bringing it back center. And let's go side to side one more time. Maybe go a little bit faster this time. Listening to our knees, listening to our bodies. So maybe you'd like to go slower. Holding it left. Holding it right. We're gonna come into warrior poses. To so set up for warrior poses, our back leg to the angle. <clears throat> you can have it out like this. You can even bring it in here. Just listening to our knees. So we're rooting down through our feet. And then we're gonna kind of square off our hips. And we're gonna bring our arms out. So this is warrior two. Then we're gonna find warrior one. So warrior one, take those hands on the hips and then we're gonna bring them up, one or both. This is warrior one. Keeping a bend in our front knee, making sure that knee stays in line with the ankle. So we're gonna flow through those two poses with our breath. We're gonna inhale warrior one and exhale warrior two. Let's find four more. Holding this one. Coming back center. So then we're gonna find what's called sun pose. So it's kind of just like this little plie squat. We bring those arms up and we'll go through sun. So you can just simply stay here and hold and breathe or you can flow with it. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, sinking. Last one, and then we'll hold it here. Then we're gonna come back. Other side, same thing, finding those warrior poses. Bend in our front knee. Taking that back leg out, and maybe your stance is closer, right? Remember, yoga is for any body. So finding what works for you bringing those arms out, lengthening. So we're rooting down through our feet, bringing that energy up our legs, pulling that navel to spine and lengthening and reaching. So then let's find warrior one, bringing those arms back up, adjusting any little micro movements that help us adjust. So we're gonna inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Let's find four more. You're strong, right? Warrior poses are strong poses. You're doing wonderful today. Holding warrior two. Reaching out. Coming back through center. This time we're gonna do moon pose. The only thing different with moon is just your arms. So you kind of come into that plie squat, wherever your squat is. Bring those arms out. So we can hold or we can flow. And remember any time during your practice, if you wanna sit down, take a couple breaths. Have that wisdom to know the difference. Just finding where you're at and honoring it. Let's find one more. Holding it down, breathing. Great work. 
gonna turn it back. Warrior stance. So this time we're gonna do what's called a side angle. So you're gonna bring your arm back. You can guide it to the chair. You can bring it down on your leg, kind of behind your knee. Still kind of pulling in through that belly. So we're not putting all that weight onto that leg. And then we're gonna reach over, finding your middle. So you can have that support right here. And we're gonna find what's called reverse warrior. So we take that hand back and then we're gonna gaze here. So we can also support our hand right here on the chair. We can gaze right here. Maybe your flexibility is a little bit deeper. Finding the middle. So where you feel something, but you don't feel pain. If you feel pain, come back. So let's flow through those two movements. Inhaling, reaching over. Exhaling, bringing it back. <laughs> Even the teacher needs support. One more. And then we're going to hold this. Slowly returning back middle. So we're going to find like a modified downward facing dog here, okay? So you can have your hands here. And you can kind of lift up. You can hold on to your chair and lift up. If you even want it deeper, you can switch your chair around and bring those hands or those arms down to that chair. Really lifting up through the back of your tailbone. Maybe taking a moment here to shake out your head. Yes, no. Just kind of letting it go. Pulling in through our tummy. So wherever you're at, find your hips, find your hip bones, flatten out through your back, and then slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. So then we're gonna come other direction, doing the same thing. So finding that warrior stance again, and we're gonna find side angle. So supporting it with the chair or with our, just our leg. Finding that reverse warrior. Flowing through with our breath, inhaling and exhaling. Hold. Coming back center, returning. So finding our downward facing dog once more. Maybe it's arms, maybe you slide those hands down, place them on the chair, turn that chair around. Bring those hands to our hips, flattening out our back, slowly coming up one vertebrae at a time. So we're just gonna do one more side and side movement. And this time this is called triangle. So you're gonna kind of straighten out your front leg this time. Still have that warrior two stance, but the knee isn't bent. It's not hyperextended, still a little soft bend in your knee. We're gonna do a floating triangle to show progress. Progress, not perfection. Inhaling, reaching. Exhaling, just coming down a little bit. We got that chair. You can hold on to that chair for support. Don't do it alone, right? Props show our willingness. We do it together. ready finding that deepest expression of triangle could be right here right could be on your thigh for support could be guided down so just finding your triangle same thing with that gaze it could be to the ground to the wall or up Come 
back, finding that bend in the knee. Coming forward, let's have all 10 toes pointing forward. And we're just gonna take those hands just like we did before, either on our back, we can have those elbows, or we can take it down and stretch. Let's find that floating triangle, other direction. Finding just a soft bend in the knee. So pretty close to straight. So those warrior two arms. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling, sinking just a little. Finding that progression. And then when we're ready, finding our deepest expression of triangle pose. Slowly coming back. So now we're gonna do a balance pose. So you want your chair at the side so you can have it right there for support. So we're gonna come to tree. So with tree, still rooting down through our feet. So we're finding our foundation. And then we're kind of finding a gaze out in front of us, like something six to eight feet, just not moving on the floor. It's just a soft gaze. So we can have that kickstand. We can explore and kind of take it below our knee or above our knee, just finding that middle. So then we can just bring one hand into heart center, or we can bring both. Then we're either gonna bring one hand out to the side, or both. Trees sway in the wind, so do we. Then we can bring our hands up, so we can have one hand up, both hands up. We can express our tree branches any way we'd like, up high. Hands overhead. And we're gonna slowly make our way back down. Maybe hold on to that chair. Take that leg up, kind of point and flex. Maybe rotate again. Let's shake out that leg. So root down with that leg and just kind of shake out your other one you were standing on. Give it a break. And then let's come to the other side do tree on the other direction. So rooting down through our feet, rising up, finding our dristy, which is that soft gaze. Where would you like your foot? Would you like it here, kickstand or higher? Bring in one hand into heart center or both. Bring in one hand out, or both. Bring them up. And then progressively bring them back down. Great job, bringing that leg up, point and flex, rotate other direction root down through that foot shake this one out and we're going to make our way to a seated position then we're going to come into what's called a chair pose so you just kind of shift your hips back and you bring those arms up if those arms up don't feel okay to you put your arms down just see what works so we're gonna inhale, reach up. Exhale it all out your mouth. Pull in through that core, finding chair. We're just gonna find one more. You're doing great work. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it all go. Finding that chair pose, and then slowly sitting back down. 
Let's stretch out our legs. Let's stretch out what we just worked. Taking that right leg, and we're just gonna kind of guide our hand down to that middle. So we can stay here, or we can come a little bit up higher and reach. And then we're gonna slowly come back center and just kind of drop this leg down, holding on the support of our chair. Rising up through that spine. Come back through center. And we're gonna do a little stretch. It's a figure four. Can be great for sciatica, back pain. So you can just cross your leg here, or if you'd like it a little bit deeper, you can bring it up. Kind of rise up through your spine. So you can just hold it here. You can add that breath with movement, inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, lengthening. If you chose that, let's find four more. Then on this last one, we're gonna hold it. So maybe you have those hands behind, maybe you have them right here. Just kind of let your neck kind of round out for a second. Slowly coming back up. Let's do the same thing, other direction. Just letting that leg lengthen, kind of guiding our arm down. Bringing it up if we'd like. Slowly bringing it up, turning this direction. Bringing that knee down, supporting our hands, supporting our posture. Coming back center, crossing here, or finding our way back behind that knee, never on the joint. I'm gonna protect those joints. So then we can stay here or we can flow. Inhaling up, exhaling, lengthening. Lengthening through that spine. Holding this one. So just placing our hands in a place of comfort kind of rounding out through that back. Slowly coming up. Taking those hands back, finding a few cat and cows again. Coming to a little resting pose for a moment, just finding our breath. Slowly coming back up one vertebrae at a time, and then we're gonna sit back in our chair. We're gonna take a few minutes just to kind of have a little meditation. <clears throat> so really, coming back to your chair. Maybe you have your hands to your thighs to help you kind of ground. Maybe you have your palms up. So just taking a moment to find your position of comfort. If you'd like to like lay it down on a mat, just finding our final resting pose for this practice. Just kind of bringing your awareness once again to your breath. Where is your breath coming in your body?
Where is your breath coming out of your body? Practicing extending our inhales. and extending our exhales. And as we do this, just noticing how that feels in our body, we can return to the state anytime. We can step back. Take that deep breath. And then just see if you can kind of let go, let go of control of your breath. Just allow your body to just take over. Maybe finding just five more breaths. Just allowing them to happen in your body. And just returning your awareness to your body, maybe wiggling your fingers or your toes. And we're going to do a little practice with our fingers and just reciting something. So we're going to bring our thumb and our first finger together and we're going to say peace. The next one, two, the next one, my, the next one, body. Let's do that again. Peace to my, this time we're going to say mind. Peace to my spirit. Let's practice that two more times together. Peace to my mind. Peace to my body, peace to my spirit. Last time through, peace to my mind, peace to my body, peace to my spirit. Let's just take one moment to just kind of see, maybe scooting out on our chair once again, to just kind of tap into our body. What did our yoga practice do for our bodies today? What about our energy? Coming to our mind, our field of attention. Coming back, returning to that intention we set. Taking a moment to honor it, lift it up both. To that bigger energy. And what namaste means is the divine light with me recognizes and honors the divine light within you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.